Experts from the Institute for the Study of War ISW have noted minor advances by Russian forces in Kursk Oblast in areas that are not fully controlled by Ukraine's defense forces. However, they have emphasized that Russian troops are likely to face greater difficulties in further attempts to counter-attack in areas still under Ukrainian control. Russian forces continue counter-attacking throughout the Ukrainian salient in Kursk Oblast on the 12th of September, but made only marginal gains likely due to continued Ukrainian offensive operations and defensive counter-attacks in the area, the ISW said. The Russian Defense Ministry reported that Russian forces have retaken 10 settlements south and southwest of Korenevo since launching counter-attacks on the night of the 10th to the 11th of September. These settlements include Apanasovko, Byakovo, Vishnevka, Viktorovka, Vnez Zapnoy, Gordivka, Krasnuktia Briskoy, Obukovka Snagost, and 10th Oktyaba. However, all of these areas fall within previously claimed limits of Russian advances and the ISW has not visually confirmed the recapture of any settlements other than parts of Snagost and Krasnuktia Briskoy. Additional geo-located footage published on the 12th of September shows Ukrainian infantry crossing into southwestern parts into the southwestern part of Tetkino, around 40 kilometers southwest of the Ukrainian salient in Kursk Oblast. Further footage reveals Ukrainian armored vehicles and infantry bypassing Russian Dragon's Teeth anti-tank defenses near the Russian-Ukrainian border southwest of Noviput without facing resistance, suggesting that Ukrainian forces have advanced in the area and that Russian forces were not ready to use these obstacles to stop cross-border attacks. Russian sources also reported continued Ukrainian assaults near Noviput, Medvedzai, Snagost, Olgovka and Fanaseevka. Russian forces have so far advanced in areas of Kursk Oblast that Ukrainian forces were not yet fully controlling nor attempting to control and Russian forces will likely face more difficulty when counter-attacking further into areas of the salient where Ukrainian forces do have control. Ukrainian forces have not attempted to consolidate positions everywhere in their salient in Kursk Oblast and it is likely that Ukrainian forces had fewer consolidated positions in forward areas at the edges of the salient where Russian forces have recently advanced. Russian counter-attacks against better prepared and consolidated positions in territory where Ukrainian forces exert control will likely be far less successful than the counter-attacks Russian forces launched on the 10th to 11th of September. The U.S. Department of Defense has assessed the counter-offensive actions of Russian troops in Kursk Oblast, Russia, calling them marginal. So, you know, what we have seen is Russian units beginning to try to conduct some type of counter-offensive in the Kursk region. He said that these actions are marginal, Pentagon spokesman General Patrick Ryder said. However, Ryder added that the Pentagon is monitoring the developments. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky confirmed Russian counteroffensive actions in Kursk region were ongoing during a briefing in Kiev on Thursday. Russians have started counteroffensive actions. It goes according to our, Ukrainian, plan, Zelensky said. Zelensky also responded to a question about the threat from Belarus, which has amassed troops close to Ukrainian border, saying the situation is under control. Затягування цього процесу призводить до того, що Росія займається переміщенням цих військових цілей глибше на територію Росії. Тому, якщо знімаються обмеження партнерами, то дуже хотілося б, щоб це була стратегія перемоги України, а не політична стратегія. Разом до перемоги. Росіяни почали контрнаступальні дії. Це йде за нашим українським планом. Щодо Білорусі, скупчення бачили, бачили давно. Контролюємо цей процес. Ситуація. Ім'я Сумаш. 